Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jesse the Plants. We love bringing you new videos every week. And I know you enjoy watching them. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you will know when new content is posted. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now sit back and watch this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jesse Duplantis. And I'm Kathy Duplantis. And happy Easter. Yes. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Resurrection. The resurrection. You know, it's coming uh, up. the Catholic Church calls it Holy Week. I like to call it Holy Life. Wow. Which means it takes it from the minute you're born again all the way through. That's right. You know, till Jesus comes or you go by the way of the grave. It's such a wonderful time to celebrate the birth of Christianity. That's it. Which is Easter. Because if Jesus would not have rose from the dead, Christianity would have died right there. You know why? Well, well, you think that the resurrection was stronger or greater than the uh, than the birth of Christ? No, the problem is the birth of Christ was a, a living miracle, and so was the resurrection. The difference was, people would not believe in the virgin birth to save their life. They said they cannot. It just that just cannot happen. <laughs> but on the resurrection, will it? Maybe. You know, because he did so many powerful things. But then, no way he could be born of a virgin. See that? So that's why the birth of Christianity is Easter Sunday, mm. and uh, and that's what we call it. It's such a blessing of the Lord, and so we want to talk about Easter today, mm -hmm. and because uh, it's just a perfect time to do that. Right. And it's such a blessing. In fact, we talk about the resurrection really all year long. We do. But we it's do. just such a blessing of the Lord to know that when Jesus rose, we rose with him. Amen. And I'm telling you, what, I hope you uh, uh, you can watch. This Sunday, um, the Easter Sunday message, because I'm going to be preaching at Covenant Church, some kind of unusual and unique way of looking at the resurrection and how and the different things. So that's all I'm going to say about it. But I mean, you will be blessed. But I want to go to Matthew chapter 28. <clears throat> Excuse me. Verse 1 I want to read, Kathy. Okay. And you can break in any time you want in the King okay. James. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene. And the other Mary to see the sepulchre. Mm -hmm. How do you like to be called the other Kathy? <laughs> you know, I the don't other think, Mary. Well, there were so many Marys. I know. They could have been a little more specific. Yeah, a little that bit more. other though. Mary was. <laughs> and behold, there was a great earthquake. <clears throat> For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven. <clears throat> Boy, I got a little phlegm in my throat. And came and rolled back the stone from the, from the door and sat upon it. Mm -hmm. I preached a sermon on that year, probably 40 years ago, sitting on your problems. Yeah, it's probably on the app if they yeah, can go if listen you ought to, to it. Yeah, you ought to go see that because I want to tell you something. All that angel did is took that stone that was holding Jesus in there and made it a pulpit to yeah. proclaim that Jesus had rose from yeah. the dead. Sitting on your problems. Sitting on your problem. <laughs> well, I need to pull out old one. I knock the uh, dust uh, off that thing. That stone was not a problem for Jesus. He didn't no. need the stone to rise. No, indeed. That was so we could look in and see that That's he was right. already risen. <laughs> Verse 3, and his countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and, and became as dead men. Mm -hmm. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that you seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here. This is verse, I love that. He is not here, for he is risen. And as he said, come and see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall you see him. Lo, I have told you so. I want to talk about something. And I preached this sermon quite a few years ago, too. These guys, you know, what? the women were there, but where were the men? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Bunch of wimps. I mean, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the wimps. They were wimps. You know, it's amazing to me. Scared, hiding. Yeah. But on that day. Yeah, and, I, you know, I preached a message about that that's called Amazing Women. Amazing Women. they said some things to the disciples that amazed the men. Sure. They yeah. said that they had seen him, that he had They've risen. They've been saying it ever since. Women have been amazing men ever since. That's true. That's the truth. I mean, that, <laughs> that's a compliment to you. That's true. Yeah. Go tell my disciples that he is risen. Mm -hmm. I preached this sermon, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago. What a difference a day makes. One day, everybody depressed, discouraged, despondent, don't know what to it's do. Good, just and, and then all of a sudden, what a difference. That song, what a difference a day makes. Think of what happened here. 
Mm -hmm. And the birth of Christianity that was exploded. We're still talking about it. In the it. whole world. And we will talk about it forever. It's going to cause traffic jams. And, oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> I, I, and I pulled that old sermon out. Okay. And I wrote this. Easter means that goodness is stronger than evil. Wow. Truth is stronger than falsehood. And that love triumphs over hatred. You see, the resurrection was a revolution. Mm. Something happened. A new world order was put into existence. That. Isn't that something? I mean, when you think about that, my Lord. So it's more than chocolate bunnies and rabbits and all the different things. And I like chocolate bunnies. Yeah, are you, you do. Are you going to give me an Easter basket? I guess I have to. Yes, you got to do that. What, <laughs> is, what's the matter with you? What happens to me? I don't, I don't, know. I don't get anything. Yeah, but you don't, I eat you, out of your basket. You don't believe for it. I don't want one. <laughs> I believe for my Easter basket. <laughs> you don't believe you beg. <laughs> I beg for it. My mama gave me an Easter basket until the day she died. It's frustrating to me because I go through all the trouble to make the basket. You don't even eat it. Well, I, I just got to have you look it. at it. <laughs> and my mother you went maybe home. Maybe eat one yeah, piece. My mother went home to be with the Lord on Easter Sunday. I Some leave it say, in the pantry. Yeah. And it gets old. I don't care. I want my Easter basket. <laughs> I don't eat a lot of chocolate and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I mean, my my mom went home to be with the Lord. That's so true. On Easter Sunday, people say you should be sad. No, my mom always liked to party. <laughs> you know, I mean, they were partying. Now, I want to tell you, but on the resurrection day. But she always, she said, you're going to get an Easter back, basket as long as I live. And she did that, son. Mm -hmm. And it was a blessing of the Lord for me. And I still, so I look forward to it. You know, think about this. Easter, resurrection, revolution, mm -hmm. new world order. Jesus, King of Kings, rose of Sharon, lily of the valley, bright and morning star. Let's put us in there. In the book of Revelation, he's made us kings and priests. Not when we get to heaven in this life. Right. We reign with him and now I'm telling you, it's such and a blessing. eternally. So we're going to talk about that today. And Kathy, you've got some wonderful testimonies. I do. We I do. And let me just tell people, we can't just come back from Switzerland preaching a glorious, at a glorious church called Zoe. Oh, I like the name of that church. Yeah. Zoe. And then we did the European Faith Ministers Conference. Right. And it was just such a blessing of God. But uh, people were so courteous and kind. Beautiful country. Lord Jesus. The Swiss Alps are just amazing. But you know what? What was better than all the beautiful scenery was the people. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many countries they came from. Austria, I know. I Lebanon, should have gotten a count. Beirut, uh, Beirut, France, Lebanon, France, France Italy. Uh, uh, I think Italy. Yeah, and uh, Italy and another one too. Switzerland, of course. Switzerland <laughs> and, and uh, one in uh, uh, how Austria. How about the USA? We were there. USA. It was amazing. <laughs> but this lady sent us a gift well, a man and in, wrote a card. And I want you to read well, that. Well, it was a man, hus uh, Jason, husband and wife. Jason and Debbie Chen. Yes. Hello, if you're watching, hey. uh, so many of them said they watch the chats oh, yeah. and everything that we do blessing. regularly. She said, uh, dear Jesse and dear Kathy and Jesse, we cannot thank you enough for listening to God's call in your incredible lives and coming to us in Switzerland. This has been one of the most impacting events we have been to. Our spirits are full and our minds are blown to dream much bigger. Praise uh, the Lord. Dreams have no expiration dates. Yeah, and they also wrote a little P.S. because they, I think they, they are leaders maybe of a, a Bible school or a church or something. Uh -huh. They said, we shared a merry heart does good like a medicine with our <laughs> interns and, of course, others. But ever since, they are hooked. And every one of the, the team, if, if ever one of the team feels down, we prescribe, watch Jesse. <laughs> I love that. Of course, they gave us a flag of Switzerland, which we, our knits, hearts have been knit with Switzerland. We look forward oh, to going back one day wonderful whenever people. the Lord. You know, when you say that about myself, you know, I don't really think about myself as like people think of me. But, uh, you know, I've been asked to preach several times at the board of Re uh, at Regents University. The, the university that Pat Robertson built, and what a phenomenal school right. and blessing. But the uh, mm -hmm. the dean of that school, I don't know if he's still the dean. This has been several years. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, you know, we have Jesse, Jesse Day or Jesse Night. Jesse's coming on television. And they all sit down. I'm talking about their family. And just enjoy a good cup of Jesse and, <laughs> and, and a powerful message by God Almighty. It's just such a blessing of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I guess I'm so happy is because when he rose, I rose. Mm -hmm. Now, you think about that. I mean, you know, that Jesus was thinking about me before I thought about myself. Mm. Think about that. The love of the Lord. One of these things I wrote in my sermon, what a difference a day make. I don't know if that's on the um, app. I mean, on I believe it, it is. I don't know I'm if it sure is. sure it is. I said this. The best evidence for the resurrection of the Lord <clears throat> is the resurrection of the church. I like that, man. See, I, I see, belief in the resurrection is the most dominant power of the Christian church, you see, of Christian mankind. Mm 
Mm -hmm. You know, now a lot of people have become Christianized. I'm, I'm going to give you a little hint, one of my points on Sunday when I preach. A lot of people are Christianized, but not Christians. Hmm. And I'm going to deal with that. You know, That's they're good. Christianized, but they're not Christians. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? How can you be a good, a bad Catholic? You know, are you a good Catholic or bad? I mean, Christianized mm -hmm. instead of becoming a Christian. And, but that's, that's for this Sunday coming there at the church. So when you understand that, I want you to tell your children, they're going to be excited about the eggs and you need to get the East eggs and the chocolate rabbits and all that kind of stuff. And go eat dinner with your family, whatever you normally do. But you got to really pinpoint what Jesus did because it's better than a chocolate rabbit. Yeah. And so they can understand because Jesus rose. Jesus gave such life that we have life and that more abundantly. Right. What do you think about that? I love that. You know, I love, I'm looking forward to Easter Sunday and I hope everybody that's watching takes the time to go to church, give, be an example. Amen. Show your support for the, for what God, Jesus has done just, and gather with the believers and give honor to him on that day. That's the best thing that we could do. And then to stay there, keep going to church. I love it when people are faithful to the house of oh, God. Oh, I do. I mean, why not? You're faithful to your job. You ought to be faithful to your family and to your wife or your, your husband. Yeah, don't I, just be Christianized. Yeah, you like it. I got that. <laughs> I might steal it. You, know, you ain't going to steal it before Sunday. <laughs> people no. steal my stuff all the time. Kathy steal my stuff all the time. A lot of people. That's he okay. Steals my, That's fine. You steal my stuff. What too. stuff have I ever I've stole from you? I've heard you say things I've said. No, you have got. You see what happened? You, like you, you forget that I say it. You forget that I say it. You think so you said I, it. That's exactly the truth. That's what you do. <laughs> Y'all pray for my so, wife. Let's make the sign of the cross, please. No. To help her out. Yeah, Let me read some more testimonies. <laughs> yes, look at that. See, she, she got off of that real fast, didn't she? Go ahead. I don't, some we more testimonies. We don't need to go there. We don't okay, need to, we go, need to there. go there. Okay. No. <laughs> go. Uh, Martin says, watching from Guatemala, and then someone is watching from Tanzania on YouTube, says hello. And then Sarah says, hello to you both from Germany. I enjoy the boardroom chats and watching you to open up the scriptures. I am a partner. It, oh, partner, mm -hmm. thank you. And you know what? I found that Switzerland speaks a lot of German. The German language is very prevalent in Switzerland. Yeah. They have, you know what I mean? The menus were in German. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. But Go ahead. We figured it out. Okay. And then Nan Daniel says, watching from in from New Zealand, Madeline says, I'm from South Africa, and I couldn't agree more with everything you said in this message. Although I'm from another country, we are we follow the happenings in the U.S. and are so very, also very concerned about your country. That's right. It used to be the country that everyone looked up to, but was sadly degraded and is no longer a strong and pure example of sound morality. That's right. We pray with you and trust God to turn everything around. God bless you. I think we talked about yeah, civil disobedience. About civil disobedience. In in that, because it's really true. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Israel that, did the same thing with back in the Bible days. They would forget God. And man, judgment would come to them. But as long as they had God in front of them, we should, nothing, no, nobody could hurt them, nothing. And all those things were recorded in the Word so that we would learn from their example and not follow the bad example, but yeah. follow God. Uh, this one is from Chris. It says, Jesse, never stop. Your boldness is priceless. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Trish says, I love your preaching and your love for the Lord. Your plain way of speaking is so refreshing. Thank God for you both. I tell my pastor, he reminds me of Jesse. <laughs> Isn't that a blessing of the Lord? <laughs> I have a plain a way guy. of speaking. I want you to understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm And you know, me and Kathy, we're pretty plain to ourselves too. Now, when you see us go back and forth, some people call it banter. We never knew what that word was until someone said banter, you know. And uh, But I mean, we do. Why? Because we just like you are. We work out our salvation with fear and trembling. And that's not afraid, but with respect and awe. That's what that means. And yeah. it's just such a blessing of the Lord. Go ahead, Kathy. Keep reading. Uh, Georgette says, I would, I would love to hear you continue this message on civil disobedience as God leads you. I'm in total agreement with everything you said. Isn't that a Isn't blessing that of the Lord? You t and this other one says, I'm so grateful to, that you both have intelligently addressed our responsibility to stand up for our liberty. Liberty. Please do the program on politics, Jesse. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we you know. need more of our leaders <laughs> to stand and speak out and lead. I'm your partner and love you both. Well, you know, thanks for being a partner. First thing, first, you know, I, I, I'm not what I call a political person. We vote in every election. We really do. Don't misunderstand. Uh, uh, state, local, and federal. I mean, you know, and uh, but uh, the, my, my staff didn't want me to talk about that. Now, but I just found out, Kathy. Uh, and I don't know if this is com all true, but I believe a lot of it is that it was at Facebook or Meta that they don't want political rhetoric on there. They're cutting back political rhetoric or something like that. And I thought, why? You know, one, I'll just go back to this. We have freedom of speech. 
And we, and even though you say some things I don't want to hear, but I will protect your right to say it. That's what's so wonderful about America, but they're getting away from that. Which is so wonderful that we're, control. everything we do is on so many different platforms because we're not limited to what Facebook may decide to let stay on there right. or pull off or YouTube, but we have the app. Well, we have, our, no, own, we no have our own thing ourselves. We can just right, put everything. Right, that's what I was saying. Yeah, the blessing. app has no commercials. You can everything that we post on social media is there. But we're on all the platforms. Why? Because even though we may not agree with everything that maybe Facebook does or TikTok or others may do, it's another door. It's another open uh, uh, forum, or if you want to call it that, or an outlet, a yeah. uh, place that we can spread well, the gospel. So that's what know, we do. I think Mr. Zuckerberg was his name who created uh, Facebook, and I've never met he the calls gentleman. Called it Meta. <laughs> yeah, he called it Meta or whatever. I never met the meta. gentleman, so I'm not going to judge him. You never met him? I never met him. Meta. A meta, meta, you know, but I'm, but I'm not going to judge him. You know what I'm saying? You know, those different things of that nature, you know. I mean, we he, he had a him. creative ability there, and it really worked very well, you know. So, I mean, you know, you know it's uh, like I say, you know, it's another avenue to let Christ shine inside of you and to other people and things of that nature. So, you know, uh, we should pray for these freedom doors to stay open even though we may disagree with some of the stuff that goes on there. But it's not going to determine what we say, right. what their restrictions are. We're going to say what the Lord leads us to say. We're going to stick with the Word of God. We're going to always stand for truth. And I, I'm looking forward to when you start that political program. Yeah, you want me to do that? I already have the... Everybody's help. always trying already to find got, me we a got job. It, I got a desk in there. We got it all set up. We're just waiting <laughs> and, and on... Do y'all see this here? It says, give God a job. It didn't say give Jesse a job. <laughs> it said if give quit. God a job. Okay, but they always okay, seem okay. to be finding jobs for me. I'm going to four stages of Jesse. <laughs> No, we're not doing that. Uh, well, maybe. Let's think about it. Uh, okay, let's do it. And then he'll say, oh, I'm so glad I thought of that. So remember that when he starts doing these political programs, because one day he's going to say, oh, I'm so glad we did this. I'm so glad. And they'll probably say, I thought of it. But anyway, that's, I Don't like to jerk his chain. you just love women? They're amazing. What they praise the Lord. Uh, let me read two more testimonies. Yeah, we can please, get back into the, please, yeah. let me the cut, teaching. Cut, let me cut you off like you cut me off. Go ahead. Read the thing. You, someone from YouTube says, I leave you on all night to hear your teachings from years ago to today. I love you both so much. Thank you for your truth. Year after year, Jesse and Kathy. Yeah, did you think about me all night? I do. No, you don't. I look over <laughs> in, at the, in the night. I look over to make sure you're okay. Really? Uh-huh. I don't do know, you usually sure hit you me if I'm same. snoring. You don't snore. <laughs> I don't snore. I don't hit you. Uh, I, well, how come I had a bump in my head? <laughs> that was the first, less the first year we were married, but it worked. Because you straightened out and you've been doing good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch this one. She's dangerous when she sleeps. <laughs> that was a long She dreams a dream that I did something that I didn't do. And then she wakes up and she's mad all morning long until she gets Not through. all morning long. I get over it. I get over it. Good God. I work dog. it out. Yeah, you work it out. Can I read one more yes, testimony? Yes, go ahead. That's the last one. Okay, good. <laughs> Pam says that we have today. You know, thank y'all for all your comments. Uh, sorry if we don't get to read all your comments. We just get a select few because we want to spend time in the Word as well. This one's from Pam. It says, I meditate daily on the Word of God. I also give God, glory to God daily for all that He's doing for me through your ministry. I am a partner with JDM, and I'm eating from the top of the barrel. No. I, I refuse. Let me finish. I refuse to be at the bottom because I ask God for what I want, not my needs. He supplies wow. my needs, and I refuse for Satan to use me for his work. What's I put name? God first Bam. in everything, and that's what I'm learning from this ministry, giving God glory. Well, I thank you, Pam. We, we, we say that all the time, you know. If mm -hmm. God will supply all your need according to his riches and glory, why would you ask him for a need? So tell him what you want. People say, that's greed. No, that's growth. The Lord's my shepherd. I shall not want. want. That's just right there whether Hallelujah. people like it or not. And I know so many partners say, I'm a partner. I'm a yeah. partner. You know why? Because they trust us. They believe in us. And we believe in them. And we both believe in God. That's what's so wonderful about it. And being a partner of this ministry is really, I, I, I'm not talking about other men. I'm just talking about this one. 100% of what you give goes into world evangelism. Mm -hmm. One, we've been debt free 100% since 1982. We have no concept of debt. We don't borrow no money. We're not, we're not against anybody, but we just like what Romans says, owe no man anything but to love him. We take the word of God at face value. And maybe and, and this anointing of increase is on me, and I get rawly persecuted about that, about, you know, because of the planes I fly, the, the house I live in. Well, it's not my fault. It's the Lord that gave it to me. What do you want me to do? 
I remember God and give him glory and Deuteronomy 8, 18. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. See what I'm saying? Wealth. So if wealth's so bad, why would he give you power? But you don't try to be cocky and arrogant because you got something. See what I'm saying? You want to be a blessing. So if you'd like to be a partner, because we want to get more people saved, touched in here. And I wish it was free. Oh, God, do I wish it was free? But it's not. Broadcast television costs tons of money. It costs us millions of dollars a month to operate and function in this ministry. That's just the way it is. That's okay. You know, because we trust God. It gives us a faith project. We know how to stand on the Word of God and believe. If you'd like to be a partner, go to JDM.org. That's our uh, uh, website there. You can hit a donate button if you want to give. You can use PayPal. That's another way of giving. Text to give. You can do that. Uh, a one-time donation or a recurring one if you want. Mm -hmm. Or a JDM app. That's what you like, Kathy. The JDM app. Uh, which select the giving you want on that. Or you can mail in an old-fashioned donation. You know, whatever. In the mail. Whatever. 100%. I can't say that enough. 100% of what you give goes into world evangelism because we, we have no debt whatsoever. And we never will as long as I'm the head of this ministry. Why? Well, how could you believe for that? What, what made you believe for that? Resurrection. God gave me life. A revolution took over. They said, you can't live in the world without debt. I can. I can. And God's word is so true. See, when I, and, and I want to go back to that old sermon. What a difference a day made. God gave me a, a wonderful uh, a, a, a statement. He said this, not only must the darkness of doubt be stopped, but also the troublesome fog it produces. Mm. You know, I wrote a book called I Never Learned to Doubt. Doubt's mental anemia. It's, it's, it's a form of atheism. I refuse to doubt. I know Jesus rose from the dead. I know he was born of a virgin. I know he's coming back. Mm -hmm. so I, I don't believe that way. You don't have to, but it's still the truth. Mm -hmm. And God's word is so good and gracious, see? So just one day, all in disciples, <clears throat> scared, hiding. Boy, I mean, when, when Mary Madeline running down that road and tell everybody he's alive, mm -hmm. she's the first evangelist. Yeah. Our first evangelist, she just... She hit the ground running, baby. I mean, going at it. And he, what a she blessing. obeyed him. He said, go tell him. And she changed my disciples <laughs> and Peter. And according to history, well, I says the church wouldn't have accepted her because her past was that she was a prostitute. Some, but Jesus some disagree with yeah, that. Yeah, some disagree with that, but a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. Most people okay. believe that she was. My point is Jesus forgave her. Right. And God made her a preacher. <laughs> an evangelist. Think about that. My yeah. God. Now that's grace. That's the grace of the Lord. And didn't remember the mercy I, of God. No sin she ever committed anymore. Yeah. And I like what he told that to one of the ladies. Neither do I condemn you. Mm -hmm. Now, if that's not resurrection, I don't know what it is. Go sin no more. It's new life. That's new life and more abundance. So not only do I don't doubt, I get rid of the troublesome fog that's around it. I have many opportunities to sin. I have many opportunities to, uh, you know, uh, fail. I have many opportunities to not believe, but I refuse to take those things. Yeah. Because whose report shall you believe? Right here. You know, even after uh, Mary, uh, excuse me, told those disciples about Jesus uh -huh. that he had rose, they didn't believe him. No. They were still locked in that, uh, that room together behind the locked door. That was Sunday night where Jesus comes through the door, through the uh -huh. locked door, and talks to his disciples. All, it was what? 11 of them that were there, right? No. Yeah, uh, it was 11. Thomas no, was actually not there. No, actually 10 because Judas had already gone and Thomas yeah. was not yeah. there. So Jesus walks into the room and he reveals himself to them. What a difference a day makes. Can it's you still imagine Sunday. That? That's, that's I'll ask day. you a question. Yeah. Do you think women believe more than men? Mm. I don't know if that's, you could put a gender on belief. In the Bible, there were a lot of women that believed. I mean, God chose women. I think he elevated women where in, the, in those days they were looked down upon. They were just considered property. But uh, I'm, there are a lot of good examples. You know, I believe before you did. You certainly so, did. And there are a lot of examples yeah. where women did, but there are some men that God that did believe as well. I, I wouldn't oh, yeah. put it down to gender. But the Apostle God Paul, didn't see the that. Apostle Paul, you know, people misunderstand his, his statement all the time that women should be solid in the church. But boy, he sure talked a lot about Phoebe and Priscilla and all the Paul. different things. The Apostle Paul, I yeah. mean, naming people and everything. And most of them were women because they a were lot willing of them to do women. the work. And, and Philip, in fact, I spoke on that on Sunday, Romans <clears throat> chapter 16, the last chapter. He commends 37 different Christian believers there. And about 10 of them, they say, were women that Amen. he commends and recognizes. And they so they were a vital part 
of the New Testament church, Jesus revealed him, his resurrection to a woman because she was there at the tomb. She That's didn't right. run away and hide. No, and she didn't. Women are strong. Yes, I don't know I why they that. think women are, women are soft in a lot of ways, but we have strong oh, beliefs, yeah. strong character. Yeah. And I believe God's using women in these last days That's to why I believe, proclaim the gospel. That's why I believe that women can preach, women can do anything, well, any, anything a man can do. Now, in those days, you got to understand that even in the Jewish church, most men never even thought about women. They just thought of them as cooking and having babies. You know what I'm saying? Well, even stuff sometime, like that. That even, that. And even, it's wrong. They were so much more than that, you know? And well, even today, when, in some of the denominations that say women can't uh, have to be silent in the church, they let them sing. They're singing in church. That's not silent. <laughs> well, singing Unless is they're preaching. doing mouthing it, you sing, know? Singing and, is, is sing. I've seen people sing the, the Word of God, yeah, man. That's so true. That's and it's so just true. such a blessing of the Lord. So when you understand... Oh, what, and also they can, yeah. they can preach... To other, to men, women, whoever, if they're in another country, but not in the U.S. Yeah, it's just so. Crazy. It's so. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. You know, and the, but to me, I just made up my mind. If somebody's talking about the Word of God, I don't care if it's a dog. I want to hear what the dog got to say. You, you calling know? me a dog? No, I ain't calling you a dog. But I know a donkey, <laughs> a jackass, talk to a prophet. You're not calling me a jackass. No, I ain't calling you no jackass. No. I know you know better than that. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 you better watch yourself. I know you. I pity the fool who. Are you talking to me? Oh yeah. What, what, what do you use? You use that old boy's. I pity the fool. Oh, uh, Mister T. I pity the fool that tries to take what I got. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Kathy <laughs> put a bimp on your head. You know, she, she, she's been known for that. Hallelujah. The Lord will forgive me. <laughs> yes, He has. Hallelujah. I got a problem with forgiving you, but Jesus doesn't. But anyway, it's nice. This is a point that I want to talk to you about on this okay. message. Here. Faith is needed to protect the Easter message from the attacks of secular humanism. Hmm. That is so true. You know, people just, I, mean, I remember years ago when I was growing up, Easter, you know, and uh, like that lady said, it's not, this nation is not the nation that uh, people look up because you know why? We put God first. Our founding fathers used God as providence in all of our wonderful documents, you know, uh, you know, the Constitution, the uh, uh, Declaration of Independence, all the many different things. And it was just such a blessing of the Lord. Or were there, some were deist and some were not. And even some uh, uh, were considered atheistic. But yet God proved this. And when God created America, no nation had never been created like that. It was like salvation. You know, that man would have a right to say whatever he want. Think about that. You see, now what people say, why are you so much into the Bible? The Constitution is a phenomenal document, but it has amendments to it. There's no amendments to the Bible. It doesn't need to be amended. It's a perfect document. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you know why? Because it's a person. Yeah. In the beginning was the Word. The he Word is, was God, and yeah. the Word Jesus is God. Jesus is yes, the Word. That's it. I mean, that's it's just so that true. simple. So, I mean, I want you to have a wonderful time on this Easter Sunday with your family. And I want you to go to church on Easter Sunday. And yes. What about the next Sunday? Yep. Some people just go to church on Easter and Christmas. They're Christianized. Uh, they're not Christians. Oh, I believe in Jesus. Well, so does the devil. Come on, talk to me now. Listen to me. I mean, uh, uh, you really think you're doing something here? See, but when you understand, when you live for him, mm -hmm. when you call it Holy Week or Holy Life, Oh, that's a wonderful thing. Be ye holy for I am holy. Not preaching people's personal convictions. Now, I'm not talking about makeup and pants and, you know, years ago they had to call that clothesline preaching and things of that nature. I'm talking about let your light so shine that people that come around you, whether you're in the church, out of the church, in the mall, walking the road, whatever, they see the light of the glorious gospel. Mm -hmm. That's resurrection life. I'm telling you, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And not only did he raise, he rose from the dead. He's coming back. That's right. And I just believe that with every fabric of my being. In fact, not too long ago, I just did a, a, a funeral. And, I'm out, and I just told people, you're going to see this person again. You, it don't make no difference what anybody says. It's going to come to pass. So we really have to stand up for the resurrection and for the gospel because of right. secular humanism. Well, it's a historical fact. A lot of people don't want to acknowledge it, but it is. A, they saw him. And they oh, saw yeah. him rose. Over 500 people. He had he'd walked the earth That's 40 it. days mm -hmm. after his resurrection. And Book of Acts tells us that there were about 
There were a bunch of people there. I think it was Pete Paul that wrote somewhere in Corinthians that there were about 500 people that were there that watched him ascend. And then when he went up, the angels, the two angels stood by and said, why do you sit here watching him go up? This same Jesus who you saw go up is going to come back again. Yeah. So he, his resurrection was a prelude to what, what, he, what was going to happen when he comes back again. Uh, and that would be for the rapture <laughs> yeah. of the church. He's going to come in the clouds. That's hard for me to even believe you see him levitating. You see him going up in the cloud, and the Bible said, and yeah, some, some doubted. doubted. Now, how can you doubt when you see this all happening? Yeah, and you know, Jesse, I was thinking about this uh, a few days ago when I, how when Jesus resurrected when, and, and then he ascended, those people that were there, some doubted. There were about 500 of them yeah, there, like I said. Right. Well, he told them all to go to the upper room and wait for the for the Holy Spirit, wait for the, until you be empowered with was, power right? from on high, because you're going to be my witnesses. But only 120 of them were actually in that room. Yeah. So that's about 25% yeah. of the people that were there at the ascension that actually went to that upper room. So, uh, you know, the message has to go out, but that doesn't mean 25%. everybody's going to hear it. The message that Jesus rose went out, but not everybody hears it and obeys it, but we need yeah. to embrace the fact that it, it happened and it, it changed our lives. But, and we need to be bold about letting people know that Jesus is alive. He rose from the dead and he's coming hmm. back. Well, you know, that percentage is pretty low. 25% of those, you know, only they say this only 18% of the church tithe. My God, why shouldn't a hundred percent, why shouldn't a hundred percent went to the upper And road? the same thing with serving in a church. A lot of people yeah. say less about that amount or less serve in the church. I think in our church, we got like a, a third of the people actually yeah. serve in some capacity. And so sure. I'm really happy about that. Well, you know, but, people ask me all the time, you know, flying a lot. I've been down on three airplane crashes and, you know, that'll make, that'll make a Baptist speak in tongue. Let me just tell you something. That's something. People say, you're not afraid to die. You know what? The resurrection. Here's a point God gave me probably 20 years ago. The fear of death has been abolished. Mm -hmm. We shall all die, but we shall never be dead. Mm. Ooh, that's life and that more mental insight. Yeah. I like this. The resurrection means that his power is just as available today as it was then. A reservoir of vast spiritual energy is now available to you and me. Say and that again. You're saying it so fast. I want to grab it. Okay. I'm going to slow down. You know, slow kind of, down. Yeah, slow down. <laughs> the, uh, the fear of death. <laughs> okay. The fear of death has been abolished. That's a good point. Just right there. We shall all die, but we shall never be dead. Hmm. That's a vast difference. Mm -hmm. Because, see, you die to live. Jesus said that fear the second death. Yes. See, that first yeah. death, yeah. you shouldn't be afraid of. But that second death means yeah. you're going to live for That's eternity the in the lake of fire. Then I said this. The resurrection means that his power is just as available today as it was then. A reservoir of vast spiritual energy mm. is now available to you and also to me. Wow. Ooh, that's good stuff. Yeah, it's good. You see, you're not a mere product of time, ladies and gentlemen. No. Y y if you put on Christ, immortality has been given to you. Mm. Christ in you. Not on you. Not around you. Put it on, but it's in you coming out. And he's such a blessing. That's what Easter's all that's about. That's what he told that lady at the well. He says, right. if you just knew who was talking to you, you would ask me and I would give you living water. Amen. It yeah. would be bubbling up in Amen. you, refreshing you continually. Yeah. That's what Jesus came to give us, to, to connect us with the Father, to, to uh, restore the relationship that was lost in the Garden of Eden. It's a beautiful message. Uh, I'm going to tell you something. Easter is the birthday of Christianity. Yes. It really is. So we wanted to talk about that today. We went a little bit over our time here on our boardroom chat. But just remember, and make Easter every day. Yes. Make, not the Holy Week, but a Holy Life. Holy Life. And you know, you love people. And, you know, if, and it's if possible. you're going to talk, you don't have to criticize. A lot of people think they can't live a holy life, but it's possible. Jesus came to empower us so that we can live the way yeah. he wants us I to. I felt like the Lord said, you know, some people think when you say something about somebody, you're being critical. Not if it's truth. It's not being critical. It's being truthful. And if truthful. it's spoken in love. And it's spoken in love, but it's not the issue. Is If it's the truth, the truth sets you free. Right. Just that simple. True. I hope you enjoyed our boardroom chat today. And to all our wonderful partners and friends, and we thank you for supporting this ministry the way you do. And uh, we are reaching people, changing lives one soul at a time. We still yes. have more projects to do. People ask me all the time, you know, um, 
Will you ever retire? I don't think so. I mean, you know, I mean, I got good health to God be the glory for that. Me and Kathy both, you know, and uh, I, I know I look 20 years older than Kathy, but I'm only three years older than her. But she, you know, she uses a lot more moisturizer than I do. I don't, <laughs> I don't use moisturizer. She's really into moisturizer. My Lord Jesus. I hugged her today. She, whoop, she just slipped out my arm. My Lord. Yeah, I'm trying to get him to exfoliate <laughs> oh, and moisturize. I didn't know what that was, exfoliate. <laughs> and then I found out how much it costs for that stuff. I said, you know, a bar. Oh, I, yeah. I told you, a bar of lava soap would take the skin off your skull. Boy, that's exfoliation. <laughs> Only cost about 30 cents, <laughs> you know, a bar of lava. Anyway, anyway, God has been so good. Happy Easter. <laughs> and partners, thank you. And if you're not a partner, you pray about becoming Yeah. I mean that sincerely. I promise you, 100% will go into world evangelism. And it's just such a blessing. And together Lord. we can reach people and change, change lives one, one soul, soul at a time. time. The anointing increases on us and we want it to come upon you so you can be the blessing you want to be. Yes. Spiritually, physically, and financially. Amen. This is Jesse and Kathy saying, Happy Easter. I hope you can watch Sunday's message at Covenant Church on Easter Sunday coming up. We'll see you then. God bless you. Bye-bye. Okay. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.